What are your childhood memories of Mary Poppins? I grew up watching the movie over and over again on a laser disc that my grandparents had. <laughs> Um, so I loved the movie, was singing the songs when I was, you know, yay high. So now to be a part of t retelling the story to, you know, a new generation is so exciting and quite an honor. And to be part of, you know, the show running for five years on Broadway mm -hmm. and still selling out every night is just, it's such yeah. an honor to be in a, 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 in such a big hit show. And uh, mm -hmm. occasionally before the, um, before the show starts, the stage manager over there, speaker, will say, this is our... 1,800 performance and we're surpassing Fiddler on the Roof to be the 22nd longest running show ever on Broadway and gradually that number is getting smaller and smaller and you know pushing our way up to number one spot eventually who knows but mm -hmm. it's just it's such an honor to be in, in, in a, a massive big spectacular show like this that Cameron McIntosh and Disney have collaborated together the theater producers and uh, come up with this hit show. Uh, you know, I think a lot of fans, Disney did amazing things with Lion King, the uh -huh, stage musical. Uh -huh. Tell me what they, how, are there differences? Can fans expect uh, technology to sort of help this show well, be well, different? Or well, Just like Lion King, mm -hmm. they didn't just try and pick the movie up and plonk it on the stage. Mm -hmm. You know, the Lion King is very different, as well as Mary Poppins. We're not just doing the 1960s fabulous movie on stage. They went back to the P.L. Travers books. There are six books that she wrote and they picked out different characters and different storylines and kind of meshed it with the movie. So anyone who is a massive fan of the movie, you know, the, all, the, all the best songs are there, yes. the best characters are there, but there's new characters. And, and, mm -hmm. uh, and it means that the actors playing the roles don't have to just do a carbon copy mm -hmm. of Duke Van Dyke and Julie Andrews, because that, they were very big shoes to fill. Yes, yes. And of course, being on stage, we get to do sort of spectacular things. I fly over the audience, uh -huh. he dances upside down <laughs> on stage. So, you know, we get to utilize the doing it and the version the of the theat stage. The theatrical tricks that you can do exactly. with wires and, and magic yeah. and the stuff coming out of your hand, handbag oh, is just yeah. so cool because you You've know it's, you it know right it's actually you. happening physically yeah. rather than in the movie it can be just cut and pasted and mm -hmm. whereas you know Steffi is pulling it's just stuff out of the right. bag and you're like there's a table there and I can see <laughs> under the table how she's doing that and mm -hmm. there's so many magical tricks like that exactly. that uh, backstage in the, uh, at the stage door after the show people are like how did how did the dog talk how did you fly <laughs> how did you tap dance upside down and I didn't mm. see any wires and, and it's just very cool to know the tricks and go I'm not telling you <laughs> <laughs> I, I would I would assume and you can tell me if I'm wrong but this could be the first experience for some kids oh, of sure. Mary Poppins yeah. it's I mean what, how does that feel? Because maybe 20 years from now, someone wants to have a, you a know, career or their, yeah, yeah. A career or their first memory of Mary Poppins was this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's movie. so, such an honor, you know, to not only maybe be exposing children to Mary Poppins for the first time, but maybe their first theatrical experience yeah. for the first time. And that is, is huge. And it's a very, uh, I think, something that we take seriously. And that's one of the very exciting things about being part of a show that kids come to, can come to. Mm -hmm. Any fun stories about the kids or just the, maybe this is their first experience with Mary Poppins or? Oh gosh. They I just, I mean, they j I think when you come out of stage door on Broadway and there's a big queue of people there waiting for your autograph and it's when the little five-year-olds, you know, hold their program up, their playbill and they're like, and their parents are always going, <laughs> it's their first Broadway experience. And you're like, what's your favorite part? And, and kids always come out with uh, of course, there's the big iconic roles like the Step in Time and Supercalifragilistic, these great big dance routines that we do. But occasionally they'll say the oddest thing like, <laughs> oh, I liked it when you picked up the kite and it flew away. And, and you're kind of like, oh, that's such an easy, mm -hmm. easy little thing that mm -hmm. happens. But it just stuck in your mind. These kids are like sponges and they just absorb yeah. the whole show and they have s their favorite part. And, and it's just oh, it's just such a buzz to, mm -hmm. to be making whole families from kids to grandparents just smile and be at the stage door afterwards and just going, mm -hmm. it was the best show I've ever seen. And we're like, we're so lucky. We get to do that every <laughs> night. Yeah. Well, I was going to ask about that other, the other side of it. You have the kids, then mm -hmm. you have the parents or grandparents that are reliving the experience through yeah. this. And have you, have you gotten any interesting um, reactions from them? You know, I come out of the stage door and you have parents who have been obsessed with the yeah. movie, you know, and then they have brought their kids and are exposing them to the same story in a different way. And it's, mm -hmm. you know, that's, great to be a part of mm. and the kids are also very vocal of course so <laughs> you know sometimes we uh, Mary and Bert have this very touching moment at the end and it's kind of quiet on stage and they're Bert's trying to be basically been trying to get a kiss from Mary Poppins for the whole show yes. and she's always very proper and like oh Bert really yes and of course when she's saying goodbye because she's 
the job has been done and the, and the mm. family is back together. She just gives me this peck yes. on the cheek, and the, mm. especially when we have school parties and you just hear. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Screaming. And one time during the silence, you know, Mary's walking over to Bert, and this little kid just yelled out, I love you, Mary Poppins. <laughs> and then, of course, the whole audience, you know, erupts. But 